Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Benjamin here from Singapore and in today's video, we're going to talk about how exactly do you customize the appearance of your website by using Bluehost. Okay, <clears throat> strictly speaking, we are not really using Bluehost but rather we are using this application called WordPress. So there are two kinds of WordPress. One is WordPress.org, WordPress.org. The other one is WordPress.com. Right? The one that we are using is WordPress.org because this is the one that you basically own the domain and you own the website okay <clears throat> but of course like what i said this is not a free option because you need to actually subscribe to bluehost in order to use this particular software within it now the subscription for bluehost is only 35 36 dollars per year if you minus away all the extra that you don't really need okay and we're, we're talking about per year so on a per month basis it's just barely about three us dollars per day barely about 10 cents okay 10 uh 10 cents usd so by doing that all right not only will you enjoy building a website but at the same time you also enjoy things like setting up your own custom domain custom email addresses the subdomains and so forth which are all being covered in all the previous videos all right for this uh, bluehost training series now without further ado let's go straight into how exactly do we customize the look and feel of your website so first and foremost, you are already in the dashboard, log into WordPress over here, okay, on the right click on the button. Now, when you actually click on this particular button, uh, it will bring you to the WordPress dashboard, okay. It can look very daunting when you initially set it up, but however, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it will look something like this. As you can see over here, welcome to WordPress, so and so forth. All right. Now, when it comes to actually customizing the look and feel of your website, it boils down to this thing called the theme, T-H-E-M-E, -E, the theme of your website. In Within Bluehost itself, uh, sorry, within WordPress itself, the main theme, the, the themes are being classified into two different categories. They have the free themes and they also have the paid themes. Okay. Now, there are some paid themes that will actually help you to make your website look even more professional. But however, if you are just generally using this website, right, just to provide some information or some form of um, comparison between different products, so and so forth, it's more for your own branding usage. You don't really need to purchase any paid themes, right? I repeat again, you don't need to purchase any form of paid themes. You can actually use all the free themes. Now, if I were to scroll down this particular menu bar here, all right, let me try to scroll one by one, yeah? So, of course, this one is the Bluehost, main home, themes, plugin services, so and so forth. However, don't go into this particular theme here because they will show you only the paid themes. All right. So, installing, uh, installing plugins. So, plugins are actually called um, extensions or we can call it applications. Okay. Something like, for example, if you own an iPhone and you actually want to install certain software to your iPhone, of course, we call it apps. Okay, applications. Now, in WordPress, when you design a website, it is known as plugin. All right, just added features to help your website to function better, to look better, so and so forth. Now, similarly, when it comes to plugins, there are free options. There are also the paid options. However, you don't need much. You don't need most. In fact, ninety nine point nine percent of the plugins for paid, you don't need it. What are the plugins that is necessary when it comes to setting a website? Only three. Only three. One is called Jetpack, okay? One is called Rank Math, which will help you in your SEO when you actually type certain posts, whereby they will give you certain recommendations, like for example, you might use this particular heading, or you want to change certain text, or the main uh, SEO keywords, you might want to add some more into your content, so and so forth. So Rank Math will actually help you with that. They have the free and the paid option, like what I said, okay? Always use the free option. Then the next one that you might want to consider using is, for example, um, TDO Chat. Okay, T I D O C H A T, TDO Chat. This will actually help uh, your visitors to leave certain messages to you if they have any questions. Of course, you want to engage your visitors into it, correct? So, that is generally the free plugins that, that we're talking about, right? Now, of course, I also mentioned our pretty links in the previous video. We talked about how exactly to cloak your affiliate links, and this is the main usage of pretty links. Okay, going back again to themes. So where exactly can you find all the free themes? Now, if you to scroll down the menu, you will see this particular option called Appearance. Just hover your mouse to it, you will see themes, customize, widgets, so and so forth. Correct? Just go under themes and click on it. 
Alright, so when you actually click on the themes option under appearance, these are all the free themes that you can choose. Guys, see, so many of them. Okay, so if I go over to wordpress.org themes, okay, click on that. There's actually a lot of themes. A lot of look and feel, I would say. You can actually choose to your liking. Alright, so I'm searching for all the popular themes now. Okay, so all the popular themes have already been um, up, so-called uh, downloaded from WordPress. All you need to do is to check and see which is the one that you like. You see, these are all the themes. <coughs> Excuse me. So many of them. So many of them that you can choose from. See? So they actually have a lot of themes like for example if you, if you can even click on these details and preview or just go into the preview option over here so let's say for example i want to check out this particular theme as per how my mouse is showing okay let me click on the preview button and show to you guys how exactly it looks like All right so this is how the look and feel of, of your website will be you can actually scroll down and take a look as well all right so these are all the look and feels now what exactly are these these are actually um we call it actually widgets so this kind of widgets will be like, for example, you do a new post to your website, your latest post, it's up to how you customize it. You can customize it with some popular, latest, or, or the first few posts, up to you. Okay, so for example, if you customize it based on you want the uh, latest, okay, the latest post to show, it will actually automatically populate over here. All right, so this is how exactly this particular theme will look like. Now, if you actually want this theme, all you need to do is to install it. All right, now what I do now, installing. All right, after you have finished installing, the the particular uh, name will come out as in activating it, okay? Uh, the update failed at this point in time because I do not want to actually activate this particular theme to my existing website. So I actually did a cross, I mean, to stop the updating. Okay, so whatever you want this particular theme, once you install it, remember you have to activate it so that the theme will start running, okay? Let me just go back again to the main page. All right, so like what I show you guys over here, there are so many themes that you can choose from. All right, so this is how exactly you customize the look and feel of your uh, WordPress, all right, your, this particular website that you want. Okay, so in the next few videos, I'll talk about how exactly do you insert posts into your website, how exactly do you customize the menu bar, drop-down menu, so and so forth. All right, see you guys in the next video.